All right, well, Gengar is going for the Protect again, so Gengar protecting uh, like it tried to do last turn. Thunderbolt from Thunders into the Gengar's Protect. Hitmon top going for the close combat onto Bronzong. Deals enough damage to pick up the KO onto Bronzong with that critical hit. Uh, Hitmon top's going to need a whole lot more of those if it's going to have a chance. Uh, and also going to have to find a way to miraculously avoid an eruption from this uh, <laughs> from this incoming crowd on. Yeah, unfortunately there's not going to be a way. See, if Thunderous had Swagger, Swagger is great uh. against ground type Pokemon. Uh, it's a way to shut them down <laughs> and, and take victory when, you know, maybe it's... Things aren't looking good for you, but we're not going to see that here. Uh, unfortunately, Thunders doesn't have room for Swagger, uh, opting for Taunt and Thunder Wave instead. Yeah, and for those of you who are just joining us, this is game three of our top four match. Eduardo pulled off a miraculous game two, completely changing the game. Uh, really taking the momentum from the very start and forcing this game three against Jonathan. Now, I guess there technically is still an out if maybe Thunderous goes for a Thunderbolt on the Gengar slot and him on top just goes for a wide guard and somehow just out predicts Groud on every That's turn. That's true. You know, going to time eventually, maybe winning two to one if you just wide guard a bunch of eruptions, but I mean, you're going to have to, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to predict right lot. every single turn. It's. Uh, Probably not too likely. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult for Eduardo to pull this one out. I mean, like you mentioned, does have a single out. Hitmontop going for that wide guard here, so we'll be able to last at least one more turn. Thunderous and the Thunderbolt onto Gengar. Is it enough to pick up the KO? It is a critical hit again from Eduardo. He is really trying here to make this work. <laughs> uh, crowd on the punch. fire punch. Oh, but goes for Thunderous, who goes can't even hit Groudon. Yeah, Thunderous has absolutely no ability to hit that Groudon. But Hitmon Top should be in a pretty good position here. Or sorry, Groudon, Groudon should be in a yeah. pretty good position against <laughs> yep. this Hitmon Top. Yep, can simply just fire punch Hitmon Top, and there's not really a whole lot uh, Eduardo can do. He's going to need a close combat critical hit, which isn't even enough. Uh, you know, it's already lowered its defense with close combat. Fire punch would just do massive damage to it. Yep, here comes the fire punch in the sun with Hitmon Top with drop defenses. Survives, actually, gets the close combat off. Is it going to be enough? Not even close. Fortunately, not close. <laughs> Hitmon Top keeps trying the little top that could. And Jonathan Evans with this next fire punch. No, even just the forfeit is going to advance for a chance to become the world champion. And we have an all-American finals. Wolf Glick versus Jonathan Evans. Yeah, what an intense match. And Jonathan, look at that relief on his face. He is so excited and just so relieved to be going to the finals up against Wolf. Yeah. Like you said, two Americans in the finals. Who would have thought that after the performance America had last year? We we really disappointed, but this year, America definitely redeemed itself, had some great finishes amongst a lot of players, and Jonathan and Wolf, they will be our two finalists this year. I am really looking forward to tomorrow to see these two face off. Yeah, it should be a very fun match when we get to tomorrow. Of course, Championship Sunday, trading card game, and the video game championships.